By the end of the lesson, you will be able to state some ways in which ICTs will be used in the workplace of the future and advise on what is involved in some of the careers in the ICT field. <laughs> in the last lesson, we looked at how ICTs or information and communication technologies are used in a variety of jobs and how that's changed the workplace dramatically. With connectivity being what it is these days, you can work 24-7 worldwide. Communication is much cheaper, accessible to more people, easier and faster to use. People can share files anywhere, more processes are automated, and there is increased mobility due to wireless and cellular technologies. Today, we are going to find out about the different careers you can have that don't just use ICTs, but are careers in the field of ICT. These days, huge amounts of information and data need to be processed, analyzed, and used. So, there's a big need for workers to deal with this information. That means new skills need to be learned. Information is seen as a business asset, and analysis and synthesis of data are highly valued skills. With all this new technology, we have a new type of worker, the knowledge worker. Nowadays, Fewer people are doing manual labor and more are working with information. Also, people can work just about anywhere if they have a computer and access to the internet. You need to be computer literate or be able to use some form of technology for most jobs these days. People who have no skills in technology are finding it more and more difficult to get a job. Some people either don't like change or are scared of technology. They're scared they might break expensive machines or that they might not be able to keep up with technology. Some jobs have become non-existent as it's cheaper and faster to use a computer or computerized machinery. And technology is going to have an even bigger effect on the South African workplace in the near future. Now, these changes have already happened in some other countries around the world. So, what changes can we expect? Many people will be able to work from home as long as they are connected to the internet. They will be able to communicate with their customers and it won't matter what time of the day it is. This is called telecommuting and cuts down on traffic and pollution. Hey, guys. Hey, Murray. Hey, Murray. What's up? Well. I was just going through some of the changes we can expect due to ever-evolving modern technology. You know, the office of the future will look very different from the office of today. Just as the office of today looks very different from the office of even 20 years ago, the telephones are smaller and computers have taken the place of typewriters. And the office of the future will function differently too. All software will be able to talk to other different kinds of software. So, that means the photocopier, the phone software, the fax will all be able to communicate and share information. And with all information being sent electronically, this should cut down on the use of paper. You're absolutely right, Morwa. Also, all SMSs, instant messages, faxes, emails will be able to be sent straight to your desktop or redirected to your laptop or smartphone. I bet you your laptop will be able to know who's sitting in front of it by using face and voice recognition. In fact, the entire office will probably be computerized with the air conditioner, windows, doors opening and closing automatically. Hey, 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 you know what? There'll probably be a robot that's going to make and bring the coffee straight to your desk. Oh, that sounds fantastic, Zamo. On that note, guys, it's time for me to leave you. Got it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! <laughs> that Marianne is gimmicks. Anyway, what's on the agenda today? Oh, look at this. AI. Artificial intelligence. Hey, that's something that we can study when we're done with school. Uh, is artificial intelligence robots or is it you pretending to be clever? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> No, it's anything that copies human behavior or seems to think like a human. It's called fuzzy logic. 
I guess it's what makes a robot work or um, when a piece of equipment or a car does something automatically. You know, like the light that comes on when it gets dark? Mm. Yeah. Oh, I'd love a robot to do my homework and clean up my room. Oh. <laughs> well, that might not be so far away. You know, people started using robots back in them days in factories to build cars, make toothpaste tubes and make bottles, you know, to cut down on the labor force. These days, people use robots for all sorts of things. Oh, but not for homework. Well, not just yet, but they can help you clean up your home. You know, these days there are vacuum cleaners that work themselves. But what happens if one day we're able to create robots so clever that they start to take over? No, that'll never happen. But how do you know? Because they're still machines and they're still made and designed by humans. Ugh, oh, whatever. Anyway, when I leave school, I'd love to do something creative using technology. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't like to work with things like cables and motherboards. Well, that's where we're different. I really like the idea of getting my hands stuck in, you know, taking things apart and then putting them together again. Okay, so why don't you do a Google search on the type of career you'd like to do in the ICT field? Hey, that's a good idea. Okay, here we go. Google. IT careers, enter. Wow, there's lots of stuff, hey? Look, it says here, experts needed to fix computers, do programming, and develop computer systems. Yeah, um, let's look for something specific. Um, jobs like, um, that work with computer hardware. Hardware? But that's about building, selling, making computers. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Well, I mean, something like that. I mean, look here. It says careers in IT, computer engineering. I mean, that sounds interesting. Mm, what do they do? Well, they design and make new hardware, or they can be technicians. They install and fix computers for clients when something is broken. Or they can upgrade computers if a client needs something extra like RAM or hard drive space. You could also work in a call center or on a helpline, helping people with their computer hardware over the phone or via email. Yeah, but I don't know, speaking to people over the phone, as I said, I really like the idea of working with my hands. Mm, okay, so how about getting involved in all of those things? Putting computers together, selling them, helping people with their problems, and answering their questions over the phone. In other words, run your own business. That actually makes sense. That way, I would be able to do all of those things and I wouldn't get bored. Exactly! <laughs> so, tell me, what career are you into? Like I said, using a computer to come up with something creative. Hmm, like uh, graphic design or designing a house? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> How's it, guys? Wow, a nice one, Murray. Thank you. Jeez, you, you finally got the whole t TV thing going. I know, this remote works like a charm now. You wouldn't happen to sell one of those, would you? No, it's a one of a kind. <laughs> Murray, we've been discussing careers in IT, eh? Hey? Come on, Zamu, Google some more careers in IT for me. Okay. Oh, well, look here. Here's some careers in programming and software development. Mm, that sounds difficult. Oh, not really. All you have to do is come up with a solution to a problem, write a program that tells the computer how to solve it. And you would develop software by writing programs using a computer language like Perl, HTML, or JavaScript for the web. Now, there's a huge market for designing, creating, and managing websites and making web pages, especially in the world of e-commerce, where people go online to the website, buy goods, and you have to make sure that the money gets transferred successfully. Actually, that does sound cool, mm. especially since programmers usually work in teams. I'd let someone else do all the complicated e-banking programming, and I'd stick to making sure the web pages look good. What else is there? Um, oh, here we go. System analyst or project leader? Hmm. Now, system analysts, they work with the client and design the systems for them. That involves advising clients what hardware and software to use and who to employ. And the project leader makes sure everything is done properly. Hmm, it's a big job, that. So I'm sure they get paid very well. Mm. Software salesperson or support? As the title suggests, they sell and support software solutions. 
You have to know a lot about software and the hardware you need to run that software. You also have to be able to train people to use that software and give them support over the phone. Well, here's one for you. Graphic designer must be able to create graphics, hmm? illustrations, and adverts for games, websites, magazines, and other stuff for the internet. Yeah, that sounds like something I'd like to do. Guys, there are so many careers to choose from, and you haven't even started with networking, internet connectivity, training and education in computers, and database administration. One of the careers in computer networking is a network administrator. They make sure a computer network runs smoothly. They look after the user securities and database, analyze how well the network is doing, and make sure all the data is backed up so it can't be lost. They also set up networks and servers. Then there's a security specialist in computer networking. A security specialist performs threat analysis. They see if the system can be attacked by hackers, viruses, or by power problems. They also have to make sure data can't be lost, stolen, or damaged. And a network technician sets up the cables and connects the network. Then there are careers in internet connectivity. The web developer develops and implements websites using graphic design software. They also use programming languages like Macromedia Flash, Dreamweaver, and Authorware to build interactive multimedia sites. A webmaster, who could also be the web developer, makes sure the website and its content are maintained and updated. Basically, they look after the website to make sure it works properly. Now, careers in computer education and training include teaching and lecturing. This means teaching or lecturing on the use of application packages, hardware, software, programming, and networks. Big companies often need training for their staff, and because technology is always changing, they need ongoing training that's always up to date. And last but not least, there's the database administrator. The database administrator plans, implements, and covers the day-to-day -day administration of database management systems, or DBMS. They need to know about programming and database software packages, such as Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle. The database administrator also controls access to the database and makes sure that it works properly. Hmm, well that's certainly given us great ideas for what jobs there are in IT for when we leave school. But the qualification seems so complicated. Oh, it's not that bad. All you've got to do is start at the beginning and keep learning until you've learned everything that you need to know. And don't forget, there's always e-learning to help you. Well, that sounds great, but we have to rush off. There's tons of homework, and there is no robot to do it for us. Oh, but I still think it would be a totally cool idea if we did. I'll tell you something that's totally cool. Watch this. <gasps> Today, we looked at some of the ways in which ICTs will change the workplace of the future. Then, Zamo and Morwa investigated different careers in the ICT field. An artificial intelligence designer creates hardware and software to imitate human thought and behavior. A computer technician installs, upgrades, and fixes hardware. A computer engineer designs new hardware. A call center expert assists telephonically with hardware, software, or connectivity problems. A computer salesperson needs to be knowledgeable about products. A programmer creates software. A systems analyst analyzes the needs and designs the entire ICT systems. A systems project leader oversees the installation of the system. A network technician installs network hardware and cabling. A network administrator manages networks. A security specialist keeps computer systems secure. 
A graphic designer creates any visual materials for computers. A web developer creates websites. A database administrator manages data storage and manipulation. And a computer educator or trainer teaches people about information and communication technology and how to use it. Well, those were just some of the many and often well-paid careers in ICT. Well, I hope you've enjoyed and been inspired by this series on e-communication and how it affects society. Now it's time for today's task. You own a computer company which is already set up with all the latest technology. Create an advertisement for new staff to be employed. In the advert, describe for prospective employees what ICTs you have that they would like to use. For example, you could say that they will be given a laptop with a 3G connection to the office and the internet. Also, list some of the vacancies you have for IT-related positions and describe what each job involves. Well, that's it for this lesson and our series on e-communication. Now don't forget, if you need more information, you can always visit our website at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. So until next time, be safe.